Need to make a logo for your sale? In this video, we'll show you how it's done. Okay, what we're getting ready to do here is a logo for a sale. And uh, we're wanting to make it off of the original sale. As long as you have the sale itself, you can do that. And we're going to use this monofilm. And you can actually use anything like this, but I like this because of the stiffness and it holds stiff when you go to trace it once you cut it out. Now you can put weights down of different things to hold it in place if you want to, but it's not real hard when you take your marker and run it up and down the ruler for your straight edge. And you can kind of see where it's rolled down and you can fill that all in as you go. Once we trace around and cut out this pattern, we'll take it to our Insignia Adhesive Material. Okay, now when you go to put it onto the plant, if you're not using the face of the fabric to draw on and you use the back, make sure that you find your top and you reverse your letter so that when you cut it out and you flip it, you'll have the right letter facing the right direction. Just simply trace around everything that you've already drawn once you get your glass cut out. Okay, now what I've done here is you can use a Stanley knife or any sharp edge and first just take a line through your letter. That way you can easily work inside and get cutting around the shape you need. Don't do this on a good table. You might uh, have a conflict with your spouse. Turn your corners and just follow your line. Once the insignia material has been cut out, we'll position the logo so that it's parallel with the foot of the sail. You'll then notice that Deb peels off the paper backing on the back of the insignia material to reveal the glue. It's a good idea to mark the position prior to basting it down so that you can make sure the logo is going on nice and straight and not tilted the wrong direction. So here she's making sure that it's going to come out just the right angle. Okay, once that uh, angle has been determined, then she continues to peel off the paper backing, revealing the glue, and carefully adheres it down with her one hand, rubbing it securely to uh, bond it to the sail. When we get to the center section here, the C, you may have detailed logos. All you need to do is uh, uh, fold the uh, paper back and then start that. So you have to peel that off and then start that so that it's flush. Mm -hmm. One nice thing about this insignia <laughs> material is that it can be reapplied again. It does get a little bit sticky over time, but uh, when you're initially installing the insignia adhesive on the sail, you'll notice that you can uh, actually peel it off of the sail and reapply it if you get a wrinkle in it. All right, once that's done, then to just continue to peel off the paper backing and uh, smooth out all of the insignia as she goes. Now, we don't typically put the opposite side logo right directly on top of this side's logo. You typically put it uh, a few inches up above this logo, uh, and you account for any numbers or anything underneath the logo as well. And you'll see that here. There we are, that's done. Now all we need to do is install the uh, numbers as well. There's what it looks like when we're done. Here's the logo we installed, and you can see that uh, logo up above it is probably about three or four inches. And here are some Sailrite numbers. These numbers are available already pre-cut from Sailrite. Thanks for watching, I'm Eric Grant with Sailrite.